Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin, and today I am here back in Ohio. We're going to be taking a look at the Johnny Appleseed Heritage Center and Johnny Appleseed Amphitheater. Now you may remember a few months ago, um, I posted a video at the Blue Jacket Amphitheater talking about how I'd been looking for this abandoned um, amphitheater, and a lot of people told me it was that one. Um, and I went there, and it wasn't really abandoned, and I also didn't think that was the one I was looking for. Well, I was right, and this is actually the one I was looking for. So this one is kind of near Mansfield, Ohio, and Lucas, Ohio. And basically, it is an old amphitheater that was had the property transferred to, um, the I believe it was the county park system here. Um, basically, it is public land now. And they are trying to revitalize it, but while they are still working on that, they actually have it open to the public, mostly for birding purposes. Um, but basically you can come here anytime when the sun's up through dark and you can come and check it out. Now I've actually not checked it out there yet, so we will in just a second. Um, so you do have to walk about a half mile uphill to get up here, but when you do, you can just kind of walk around. Now the whole area is under video surveillance, so don't do anything dumb because they will know. So let's walk over here first. This is obviously the old ticket booth. Um, it is all boarded up. Now I'm actually not sure if we can go into any of these buildings. Like I said, the whole place is under video surveillance and I do not want to break anything here. But here's the old ticket area. Looks like we've got a storage set over there. You can see all the old lights hanging. And if you go in the parking lot area, which is over there and very overgrown. You can still see all the stuff. Now I'm going to guess this is what is called the Heritage Center. Um, we may be able to go into this. There is a no smoking sign. We'll just check and see if it's unlocked. It's probably not going to be though. Yeah, so we can't go in there, but you can kind of look inside. Pretty empty. Um, oh, light here actually still works. So let's go and walk down to the amphitheater now. I'm not sure how long this place has been abandoned, but it's definitely been at least since 2017, I believe, because that is when the current owners um, had the land transferred to them. And like I said, they've been trying to revitalize it, and I'm sure the pandemic kind of put a stop on that for a while. But from what I've seen, this place is actually very massive. Um, probably bigger than the Blue Jacket one I went to before. See, we have a shed right there. It is open. Um, it just looks like it's a bunch of gardening tools, though, so we're not going to go there. I imagine this used to be a statue of Johnny Appleseed since he's carrying a bag of apples, but he no longer has a head. So now we are walking to the amphitheater itself. And you can see everything here is overgrown. I don't really think they do maintenance here. And let's just take a look. So wow. This place is absolutely massive. You can already tell by just walking in that it's way bigger. So we got like a picnic table area right here. Some sort of box up there for people to sit in. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like a concession stand area around here that we can go into. Or I guess this is all that's really left of it is, let me get closer these Pepsi machines that someone broke the glass on, which is kind of sad. So we won't get too close because I'm not wearing appropriate shoes. But you can see it is completely shattered and there's glass all over the ground here. So 
So let's walk more this way before we go down and see the actual amphitheater. Oops. So it appears that this is a little porch where you could smoke at one point. Oh, we got some water fountains. Let's see if they still work. I'm going to guess not, but they do not. So these would have been the bathrooms, but they are blocked off now. So let's just go on this little porch and I can show you how absolutely massive this place is. So I start over here, there's a tower, um, maybe where lighting was. Then there is the stage down there, it's pretty small honestly. And another tower and then look at all those stairs, or seats. <laughs> And it looks like there's an upstairs section, too. I'm not sure if there's any upstairs seating up there, if it's just for, like, maintenance reasons. But let's go down the bottom and take a look. So, yeah, there are just an absolute ton of seats here. Way more than the Blue Jacket Amphitheater had. Now, if I had a guess, just by the name of this, they probably told the story of Johnny Appleseed here when this place was open. Um, and I'm going to guess eventually that wasn't profitable enough to stay open. It is nice that it is now public land um, that you can come and watch the birds at. I do believe there's also hunting allowed here sometimes, but do not quote me on that. So, we're going to walk over to the stage. So, if you were here on the stage, or at least on this part of the stage, that's your view. Just a ton of people. And then, this also looks like it's kind of a stage. Kind of wonder if this was meant to rotate. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. Then if we go off here. Some stuff in the woods over here. Not sure if any of it will be interesting, but we should definitely check it out while we're here. Oh, so, oh, okay, so I'm trying not to get ticks or anything, but if you look, it's kind of like an old track system, and there's a cart that would have ran on it, maybe for lighting purposes or something. I'm really not familiar with theater stuff, honestly, so anyone's guess is probably as good as mine, but... Here we are, um, as you can see the box seats up there go up at least two more stories from what we could see, but that is most likely locked off. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit of a long one, but this place is so massive and it's so cool and I've been looking for it for so long. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I make at least one new video each week and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.